Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of our Congress series. Today we're talking about the 106th Congress, which was in session from 1999 to 2001. We're now within the last 20 years of this country. Yes, that also means I am also 20, because those of you that know me, I was born in 1999. And my birthday was also last month. So, yeah. Pretty sure I said that in a Congress episode, or whatever episode it was during that week. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's all a blur. But uh, this was the Congress that me and my sister were born into. So yeah. Um, I know I didn't want to put it into the facts, but... This was the Congress of Y2K. So yeah, just keep that in mind too. What is Y2K? We'll talk about that in a future video. Maybe that's a filler. It's it's not big enough for its own series, but it's gonna it's good enough for uh, a topic video. Um, how many sessions were there in this Congress? Two. Uh, in the House, we have four hundred thirty-five members. Speaker of the House is, I'm sorry, if you said Newt Gingrich, you're wrong. You better listen there, Jimmy. Uh, the Speaker is Dennis Hassert, who is a Republican. In which, in turn, we have 222 Republicans, 208 Democrats, 2 Independents, and 2 Vacancies. It is 5 o'clock at the time of me recording this video. Although, right now it's probably 1.32 in the afternoon. So yeah. Um, in the Senate, we have 100 members. President of the Senate, which again is the Vice President, is Al Gore, who is a Democrat. President Pro Tempore is Sturm Thurmond, who is a Republican. Remember, it's spelled S-T-R-O-M, not S-T-O-R-M. It's not Storm, okay? Uh, we have 54 Republicans and 46 Democrats. Okay. Um, so here's the thing, what the facts about this Congress, or the uh, events that happened in America at this time, um, one of them is very depressing, but the second one is really, uh, fun, and I don't want to end a video on a, uh, on a bad way, you know? So let's get the obvious one out of the way, the uh, one major thing that happened during this Congress. If you say 9-11, sorry. That's in tomorrow's episode. Spoiler alerts. But something major in this country happened before 9-11. At least, what I picked. One of the worst school shootings in American history occurs in Columbine, Colorado. That's right, the Columbine shooting. Which actually took place on 420. Which 420 is also known as... Uh, smoking weed day and uh, also Hitler's birthday so yeah but yeah it is true Hitler was born on 420 in 1889 there's your fun fact for today but uh, the Columbine shooting leaves 24 people hurt well, I, mean, I probably should say injured but yeah 24 people injured and 15 people were killed, including the two uh, uh, perpetrators. Uh, I did not, I mean, I did find what the names of the uh, the two guys were that caused the shooting, but uh, I don't think it's right for me to actually say that, like, put down what the guys' names were. So, you know. As you all know, school shootings 
is a very big major problem in this country. Honestly, actually, within the last 20 years. I think the most recent one was... Uh, when was the last most recent one? The most recent one I can think of was last year, uh, the Parkland shooting. But, you know. Okay, so that's all the sad, depressing stuff done out of the way. The happy thing is, the best show ever on Nickelodeon airs. You know, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? That's right. Spongebob best TV show on Nickelodeon ever here's how I feel about Spongebob I literally quote Spongebob on a daily basis uh, the best seasons of Spongebob have to be seasons uh, 1 2 and 3 those were the OG Spongebob episodes and then don't forget about the Spongebob movie. Yeah, I guess there's two of them. The original one, the Spongebob Squarepants movie, which I think came out in like 2001 or something like that. I don't remember when that one came out. That was one of the best movies I've ever saw in my life. <laughs> I guess the second one is okay, Sponged Out of Water. I mean, it kind of answered some questions for me, like how the theme song kind of came to be. And uh, how the pirate on the, the the pirate in the painting got to where he was. I mean, for me, it kind of answered some questions, but you know, some other things kind of uh, you know. And what kind of a criminal is Burger Beard? I mean, like seriously. Uh, anyway, <laughs> some reminiscing. Uh, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. <coughs> thank you for the three of you that said bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.